What is up humans? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be cutting for you guys this beautiful piece of black opal and it is Ethiopian by the way. You know I have a really hard time getting my hands on any black opal but this one is beautiful. Look at that flagstone pattern on there. I cannot wait to cut this. It's got a thin little color bar there but thick enough for us to get a dome on it and then as you see there's a chip in the top where the face will be right there. But when we weigh this out it weighs 2 grams, which is 10 carats. And when we shine our flashlight inside of this stone, not a lot of the light really goes through. So I can't really get a solid peg on how much dirt is inside, but I'm going to try to save as much as possible for you guys. So if you want to see how the stone turns out cut, stay tuned. First things first, really important to use a dust mask and glasses to protect your lungs and eyes while cutting opal. Please keep yourself safe. So I'm starting off on my diamond grit bit here and this is a really rough grit and we're just trying to shape this, get all those dirt pockets out of it and see what shape we can get out of it. So the shape I'm going for here is an oval cabochon with a flat back and I'm just trying to remove as little as possible to get to that shape without any dirt. So this is the shape that we ended up with. It's a nice oval and as you can see it has absorbed the water but it hasn't totally lost its play of color like the last stone so that's nice. Uh, Ethiopian opal is hydrophade which means it absorbs water and loses its play of color sometimes. But only for a short period of time until it dries out all the water evaporates out of it and it will have a its full play of color back after turning like white and then it goes back to its original state. So this point here that I'm using is a black Nova point, which is the coarsest of the Nova point grits that I have. And in this stage, we are still doing a lot of shaping. Now moving on to the brown Nova point, and we really just want to make sure to get all the scratches out from the previous Nova point in this stage, and we'll still be losing some carrot weight here. Now we're moving on to our gray Nova point, which is our third out of four Nova points. And in this stage, you're gonna start polishing it a little bit and get out those scratches from that brown Nova point. And now onto our pink Nova point, which is really the start of all the polishing. And I usually end up spending a little bit extra time on this just making sure to get all the scratches out before we start on the polishing grits because once you start polishing if there's any scratches you got to go back to the nova points now using a felt tip we are using our five micron diamond grit paste from kent supply and just starting to polish it up Now 
And now we're moving on to our 3.5 uh, Micron Diamond Grit Paste for polishing. Now moving on to my 2.5 Micron Diamond Grit Paste for polishing. And really, when you're polishing, just make sure to look at it, rub off the gunk after each uh, micron and make sure that there's no scratches. Now we're going to rub it with our 1.5 micron grit paste. And then this is the 1 micron diamond grit paste. Now we're going in with our uh, 0.5 diamond grit paste. And now going in with our final polishing grit before cerium oxide, which I always do off camera. This is our 0.25 micron grit paste. And now the final stone, and as you guys can see, this has a beautiful play of color. Lots of red and orange. I got green in there sometimes. A little bit of that faint blue. Really, really impressed with the flagstone pattern on this. It rolls beautifully. You could really see that color from a distance. And it's just a gorgeous black opal. I was able to retain a lot of that color on the top. Just being sure to not let that color bar get me down. Really turned out beautiful, guys. I'm super happy with this stone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video if you like it. And subscribe to this channel if you want more opal content like this. Now it's time for the final weighing. And when we weigh it out, after all that carving and polishing, it is... 2.14 carats and yes I did get a new scale that will tell us how many carats instead of me having to convert it from grams but yeah we lost a total of 7.86 carats here's a little before and after action here's the stone before we cut it a beautiful large 10 carat rough piece And then again, the stone after we cut it. Still a beautiful piece, 2.14 carats. And I'm very happy with this turnout. It may seem like I've lost a lot of carats, but I find that that is standard for my method of stone cutting. But there's a little special thing at the end of this video. If you were my subscriber before, you know that sometimes I show off my art on the channel. Today is one of those days. Uh, this is a painting I did of the characters, uh, bad guy characters from Robin of Sherwood. Uh, I got Sheriff of Nottingham, the Baron de Belem. You know, you got the castle right there. And then I have a uh, guy of Gisborne over here in the corner. I also used this color changing paints that I got from Uli, I think is how you pronounce it, but they are really awesome color changing paints. Adds a really nice trippy effect to it. As you can see right here, I'm trying to show off some of the uh, holographics of the hollow paints that I used for the castle. It's really cool stuff, guys. Highly recommend checking it out. This is a picture of the sheriff and the Baron de Belem. This is uh, the castle that they use for Castle Nottingham. And then uh, Robert Addy, Guy Gisbin, right there for you. Thank you so much for watching this far, guys. 
Don't forget to check back next week. I should have another video, but no guarantees. Love you guys. Thank you for watching.